Now, I, I had another one called Integrity versus Despair, but honestly, do you think I can remember how it goes? No, I just remember the, the intro was an acoustic. Um, I think... Something like that. Something like that. And then the distortion part, like for the verses? No. <laughs> I guess that's one's lo that one is lost in the wind. I cannot remember what the heck I did for Integrity versus Despair. But when I wrote it, I had the... Um, the arrangement idea like Metallica's Fade to Black, where it starts off acoustic um, and for the verses, and then in the chorus you go to distortion, then for the verse you go back to acoustic, and then for the chorus you go back to distortion, but then for the second, for the last half of the song you stay in distortion and you do like two or three riff changes. And that's what was in my mind because obviously I'm heavily influenced by Metallica and Pantera. So that's how I kind of approach songwriting. Um, you have like an intro, you have verses, you have a chorus, and then the end of the song. And the intro is either acoustic or distortion. Then when you go to the chorus, it's a completely different riff. Then you go back to the verse riff. Then near the end of the song, it's open territory. You can either have two, three, four, five riff changes just to make it fun to play, just to make it interesting for the listener. So just because you start off with a particular riff at the beginning of the song for the verse doesn't mean that's what you're going to be playing five minutes later. And that's how I approach songwriting. You have to have an intro, verses, chorus, back to the verses, back to the chorus, and then the end of the song, just have fun with it and do whatever you want. 